Hi guys, it's Lindsay with Mad Women Making. Today we are diving into the world of throw pillows. All right guys, we are back for the second episode in our throw pillow series. Last time we kind of talked about the anatomy of a throw pillow, um, what different stuffings there are inside of them, the pros and cons of each, and possibly when you want to use one over the other, depending on the project you're doing. So today what we're going to talk about is actually measuring your throw pillow so that you get the right measurement, you cut the fabric right the first time, and then you can go right into sewing. Very first thing that I like to do, I like to double check and make sure that this pillow is actually the size that it says it is on the tag. Um, a lot of times, if you can see on the tag, it will have the actual measurements. This one says it's 18 by 18, but I have gotten fooled before, <laughs> so I always like to double check and make sure. So the easiest way to do that is to kind of flatten out one edge of the pillow, line up your measuring tape, and then kind of grab the corners and then pull the whole thing tight. So yes, this is measuring 18 by 18, which is perfect. So now we can go on from there. So with this pillow specifically, it is filled with down, so it has a lot of play in the actual cushion. But I wanna make sure that there's enough room inside the cover for the pillow to be its fullest size. So if you have a little pillow and it's sitting on the couch and you wanna do the thing, <laughs> then you want to make sure that you have enough fabric to let it not lay flat and be squished, but actually for it to have its dimension. So the best way I have found to do this is to kind of fluff up that pillow, again, getting it nice and fat, <laughs> taking your fabric measuring tape, and we're actually going to come up and underneath the pillow, so kind of slide that in there, pull it up and across the middle, and if I don't barely touch the measuring tape at all, it is measuring at exactly 36 inches. So 18 for the top, 18 for the bottom. What you wanna do is you wanna just pull it a little taut to the point where the fabric just starts to wrinkle a teeny tiny bit. Like we don't wanna like give the pillow like a corset. We wanna get it taut, not tight. It's measuring about 34 inches. So what do I do with that information? What I want to do there is find a happy medium. So I want the cover to actually be a finished size of 35 inches around or divide that in two to get my top and bottom number. I'm bad at the maths, but I do know that that would be 17 and a half for the top and 17 and a half for the bottom. When I go into cutting my fabric, I'm actually going to cut the fabric exactly at 18 inches by 18 inches it's going to snug up the pillow cover just enough to where I get that good fitted look. You may be asking yourself, <laughs> why not just start there? If it's an 18 inch by 18 inch pillow, why not just say to yourself, okay, cut it at 18 inches by 18 inches. And with a down pillow, that is usually my approach, that's usually what I do. I measure the pillow and then I cut the fabric exactly at whatever the measurements of the pillow are. But not all throw pillows are the same. So let me show you with this little guy over here. So this little round pillow is actually filled with memory foam shred. So you can already see it has a much more structured and firmer kind of silhouette there. I know because Again, magic of video editing. I've already measured this pillow. <laughs> if I do the same thing, if I measure the pillow, kind of get it as flat as I can, come up and over and pull everything tight, this is an 18 inch round pillow. When I take the same approach like I did before of coming up and around and kind of across its little midsection right here, and when I pull it taut, where it just starts to wrinkle a little tiny bit. It's measuring at 35 inches. So whereas this one, I lost two inches by coming up and around, this one, because it's firmer, I'm only losing about an inch. If I just cut that fabric at a 18 inch circle and then sewed it, it's going to fit too tight. So for this pillow, I actually am going to cut a 19 inch circle 
and by the time the product is finished, the finished size is going to be 18 inches around. Now I always, always, always tell anyone that I am teaching or students, give yourself a little extra. Just because I've made a thousand billion pillow covers and I can kind of really stick to that seam allowance that I have for myself, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit extra seam allowance just in case. It's always a good idea to kind of check some of those measurements, see how firm it is, see how full it is, how much give does it have, and really start to think about how you want the final look to be. For a cushion that is more fitted, you may want to cut your fabric a little bit smaller. For a cushion that is larger and slouchier and you want that relaxed look, you may want to cut your fabric a little bit bigger. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you have enjoyed the video, you wanna follow along for more, you know what to do. Hit all the buttons, like all the things, subscribe to my channel, and follow along for more Madame Making. See you next time, guys.